Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you a look at all the photos that I took today at Showbus. Now, Showbus was took place today, Sunday the 29th of September 2024, at the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre in Quayton. Uh, I went there, had a few hours there, came home, and yeah, it's an absolute brilliant place. It's the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre, loads of things to see. Um, if um, unfortunately, though, there is go there is rumours that they're not going to be doing this next year. Unfortunately, uh, due to circumstances that occurred and around um, the site, um, it might not happen next year, uh, which is a real shame. But these things happen. Uh, but sit back, relax, and enjoy the video of all the buses and photos that I took at the Buckley Show Railway Centre show bus event. Don't blink, don't run, don't 
turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dark So today I'm going to be giving, showing you what I got at Showbus. Starting with the cool stuff, starting with this lovely old uh, Green Line lanyard. Really good to find that was actually. Next is something really cool. Now, you all know that I do like a good bus paquette sometimes. If you don't know, I do like a good bus paquette. Look what I found. Some key rings in bus paquette. So we've got Metroline. Stagecoach, this one here is Stagecoach Eco, which I which was used by Stagecoach on the hybrids uh, in Manchester, in Oxford, and anywhere that had hybrids. Those hybrids had this maquette in it, which is cool. And this one here, which as you can see is Reva, as in Reva Interurban, which is a uh, a bus type that I see quite often. As of course, I used to live in a town that used to have a river. We still do in the form of Hemel Hempstead and Milne Keynes Depot, but <laughs> yeah. Next is the freebies. Now, I know I should have done this at the start, but oh well, uh, is these two carousel guides. Um, really good find these. Well, these are the up to date ones as well, which I haven't done a whipping trip in a while, so it's about time I do one. And I am actually doing one next week. Now for some more timetables, uh, starting with this Somerset guide from 2018 for buses of Somerset. Uh, so it shows all the services that they had. Of course, I did a detailed look at one of these a couple of years, about a year ago, uh, on the new edition, which just came out. They have since updated it. Um, and this one's a bit bulky, actually, for some reason. It's got a hardback, which is awesome. Um, but that's really good to find, that was. Another Somerset guide here, uh, this from the Omnibus Society, um, showing all the services in the county, including school services. Um, and this was from the Omnibus Society. Awesome find again. Next, we've got this map group production publication book, uh, the Chilterns Thames Valley London Independence Fleet book. So it just includes all the independents in Aylesbury, which is awesome. And that is a really good find again. Oops, just dropped. <laughs> Here we have. So, see that happen. Um, next, we've got this guide here, the fourth, the ninth edition, of the British Handbook, Notable Independence from British Bus Publicating. Um, really good find. This one it's actually again yeah, really good. Um, I'll show you the program in a minute. Um, then we've got the tire tables. Um, starting with the travel Devon guides for Tembridge. North Devon, Tallbridge, West Devon, East Devon, South Hams, and Mid Devon. 
really good find i had one of the tenbridge ones a while ago and i still do but it is a bit battered these are from 2018 and the final items i've got are these old london country guides i already had one from 1973 which i bought online but these three are awesome and um, we've got one from 1975 staff one one from 1977 staff one all from the northwest by the way and this one from 1973 which is about the same time as my other one um really good finds these are um and here's the program if you want to know um here's the program for it for the thing uh it's mainly i believe this was actually made by uh the buckshire railway center themselves not by show bus themselves this was done by uh the buckshire railway center which makes sense because it was there um but yeah that's all i got at show bus today uh i'm doing this later in the day as i came home and as you can see there is a lot to see um there was a lot of buses obviously as you saw by the photos but thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon Bye bye